So if you've seen in the news recently, it's very apparent that lots of people are going to try and raid Area 51. Now, I'm going to put my opinions on this to one side for the moment, and I'm just going to share what I think is fairly obvious about this, and what I think you will also agree with me is fairly obvious about this whole uh, situation, this whole Area 51 thing, right? Because I'm sure you've seen lots and lots of people talking about this. So here's my opinion and my take on this. Area 51 is a military compound which is almost always heavily guarded with a lot of firepower. They've got a lot of guns, they've got a lot of um, advanced weapons technology at the site. And they make it very clear that if you go near Area 51, if you cross the boundary, you will be killed. So, it begs the question, why would you want to go there? Well, it's traditionally been seen as a place where lots of alien activity has been hidden. Secrets are withheld there. There's lots of things that people want to know about Area 51. But I don't think storming it is the best way of doing that. Because, like I say, they legally can just shoot people. They've made that very clear. And no matter how many people storm this place, they indeed can stop all of you. <laughs> and they probably will. So here's what I would suggest instead. Okay. And, and this is, by the way, a far more effective way of learning maybe what is included in Area 51, learning more about it, and basically just a sensible thing to do here for smart people, right? Don't go and storm Area 51 because it's likely that harm will come to you, okay? But what you should do, keep engaging with these pieces of content on social media because the more attention it gets, the more likely it is that secrets and things will be disclosed and revealed. And that is ultimately the only reason we would want to storm Area 51 in the first place is to actually get the information and reveal the secrets, right? The more attention this gets, the more likely something will be revealed or discovered about Area 51 or about a similar base because let's face it, Area 51 is old news now. It's been almost a source of... It's been the butt of many jokes and it's been very commonly known to be linked to aliens. So let's, let's be honest, like, let's think about this for a second, guys. If there were secret things like alien weapon technology and spaceships at Area 51, don't you think they would have moved them, you know, the first time it was mentioned in any sort of public capacity? They probably would, right? So the chances are there's nothing there anyway. Um, and really the secret stuff and the really exciting, juicy information that we all want to find out is probably in other bases. Other hidden bases, things we haven't even heard of or don't even know exist. But by bringing attention to Area 51 in this way, it does a few things. It opens people's minds to the possibility that things are being hidden from us. It opens people's curiosity. It makes the, su the subject interesting. Okay, it's gone viral. The whole idea of Storm Area 51 has gone viral. Uh, and for good reason, people want to know what is actually there. But like I say, probably nothing. Let's, let's be honest, there's probably nothing there. Um, there was something there, but it's more than likely been moved. Okay, and even if there was something there, there's not an easy way of actually getting to it. Because like I say, heavily guarded. One of the most heavily guarded places in the world. So here, so what do you do? Well, you have several options. And by, I'm, by the way, I'm going to link this back to lucid dreaming as well. So you have several options. You can either do nothing, right? Or you can actually storm Area 51. Bad idea because you might get hurt. You, you have no idea what they're going to do really. Number three, bring attention to it by interacting with it on social media, sharing it on your pages, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, YouTube, talking about it and getting people's attention on the subject, not only of just Storm Area 51, because that's, you know, that's like a, a term, a trend almost. What, what's the subject behind Storm Area 51? Well, the topic is things are being hidden from us by government at many levels in many countries and so really the goal should be to uncover those secrets and to find out what the truth is about many things not just alien activity but all sorts of things so really i would say engage with these things you know share storm area 51 content uh, and ideas and whatever probably don't actually do it but just try and with everyone you talk about this with try and increase your critical thinking asking questions, being logical, but also being curious and asking questions that you might think you know the answers to, but things that you probably don't really know the answers to, right? And what I mean by that is don't take everything that you're told or that you see in the news, in the media, don't take that as the truth. 
because the chances are very high that it's not the truth. You know, maybe it's been manipulated or maybe the narrative has been structured in a way to benefit the news companies or the people who control the news company. Like, I'm not going to go too deep with this stuff, but just in, in, in a nutshell, don't storm Area 51, okay? They can stop all of you. Instead, just share the content, engage with it, and build a conversation around this stuff. Not just Area 51, but other bases. What are the government doing? Okay, what, what secret things, what hidden things and agendas are actually going on? Those are the important questions, not what's in Area 51, because like I said, probably nothing. Anyway, and, and the last thing you can do, of course, is uh, if you really are intent on this epic battle in Area 51 and storming the gates, just do it in a lucid dream. You know, if, you're new, if you've come across this video because uh, on the off chance it's gone viral or something like that, then this channel and my videos, I normally talk about lucid dreaming and how to control what you dream about which is obviously the perfect conditions for storming a military complex without getting injured. So do that, give it a try. And uh, until next time guys, uh, just try and think a bit more, try and use critical thought and curiosity to actually learn more about the world. Don't just accept everything you're presented as if it was 100% true, because in most cases, it's not. Done. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.